Ghana's automotive industry has recently become promising because of its recent production of large amounts of cars locally in Ghana. A typical example is the recent completion of the Volkswagen Automobile Company. The government of Ghana envisioned the Volkswagen assembly plant and invested $8 million into the inauguration of its center in Ghana. Before its inauguration took place, the government started the implementation of the Ghana Automotive Development Policy, which aims at providing the necessary support to establish an assembly and manufacturing facility in Ghana, which the country has long yearned for. So, stick to this video to the end as we look at the completion of the Volkswagen assembly plant in Ghana, the funding, where it's located and all the information surrounding this mega developmental project. Before we begin as always, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. The Interim Minister for Trade and Industry, Mr. Samo Abujinapo, on Wednesday inaugurated a whopping 8 million Volkswagen vehicle assembly plant in the Free Zones enclave in Tema. The Managing Director of Volkswagen Ghana, Mr. Jeffrey Opompepra, confirmed that this new facility was a reconfirmation of its investment in the country. The strategic positioning of the facility in Tema was because the city is closer to the port, which would reduce the the cost of transportation of the vehicle parts and go a long way in the reduction of the price points on the finished vehicles. The facility, which can assemble 5,000 units of cars per year, would produce vehicles like Tiguan, Taramount, Passat, Polo, Amarok and T-Cross. The facility would also leverage the African Continental Free Trade Agreement to reach a broader market and invest in the economic growth of Ghana. The managing director, Mr. Pepra, appealed to the government to fully implement the Ghana Automotive development policy for companies in the automobile manufacturing industry to leverage and contribute towards the socio-economic development of the country. This Volkswagen facility was the first automotive company to be registered under the Ghana Automotive Development Program and this new investment would strengthen the Volkswagen brand presence in the country. The automotive development policy's purpose is to make Ghana a fully integrated and competitive industrial hub for the automotive industry in the West African sub-region and the expansion plans of Volkswagen in West Africa force the desire to develop a collaborative automotive industrial hub amongst the countries in the region. Speaking at the inauguration, the interim minister stated that the assembling and ultimately production of vehicles in Ghana would create new and highly skilled jobs for the country's citizens. He added that it would further reduce the use of foreign exchange to import second-hand vehicles and at the same time promote the exportation of made-in-Ghana cars to other African market that would in turn earn Ghana its much needed foreign exchange. The vision is to make Ghana a fully integrated and competitive industrial hub for the automotive industry in West Africa. The minister further confirmed that as a result of government's efforts to make Ghana an industrial hub, it created the Ghana Automotive Development Policy to aid that agenda and also to incentivize and facilitate local manufacturing and assembly, establishing it as a fully integrated and competitive industrial hub. The inter minister called for more stakeholder investment in the automotive and component manufacturing sector as it was a key sector for economic growth and transformation and a driver of employment and urged all Ghanaians to purchase locally assembled vehicles as they were the same quality as the ones produced in Europe. Hopefully, this recently completed Volkswagen assembly plant would be up and running to aid in the transport and economic development of the country and with the new automotive industry in Ghana, the country should be looking at employment, cheap cars and investment in the sector, which would help out with the hardships the citizens are facing today. Any further updates on this endeavor would be given out on this channel as usual. If you like contents like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out this video next on this amazing developmental project right here in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.